Hi everyone, Brian here. So in this video, I wanna show you this car here, which is a Skoda Octavia. I've had to come into the workshop here because as usual, it's too windy outside. So uh, this car, super, super low mileage, Skoda Octavia. So this is a one liter turbo petrol style model. So my understanding of this car is that it has 115 brake horsepower. Uh, we'll go for a drive in a minute. So in the video, I just wanna run around the features that I think are nice on the outside and the inside will go for a drive as well. It's a really, really super low mileage example. This car is, I suppose, 2018, what's that, six years old? Car has covered 32,000 kilometers. Uh, one owner from new uh, service history to verify the mileage. So I suppose there's a couple of ways of looking at it. A 2018 car, I'm sure you'll buy a 2019 or maybe even a slightly higher mileage 2020 reg car for probably the same money as something like this. Uh, but just sitting inside this car, uh, driving it and all, it feels like a 30,000 kilometer low mileage car. So in my opinion, it's a nice example. So I am ignorant when it comes to Skoda specifications. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you the stuff I see. Uh, some of it might be obvious. If you've already been looking at these cars, you might know more than I do about them. But uh, at the front, this, uh, from what I recall, was a slightly facelifted version. I'm actually not sure what year that came out, but uh, in here, there is some nice DRLs, daytime running lights, and then you have these double optic headlights, so the full lights here, dip headlight here, so there should be good light from them at night time, and then there's a front fog light set down through here. In the front end, they have that kind of distinctive Skoda badge. Looks like there's a chrome surround around that, and then it looks like along the bottom, there's a nice chrome varnish along the front of the bumper. The style, I presume, gets a different type of wheel. So I think these, uh, from what I've looked on Cars On and Cars Ireland, this looks to be a slightly nicer looking wheel because it's a style model and that's a 17 inch wheel. Uh, other things I see then, there's a nice chrome surround underneath the windows. Door handles, wing mirrors, they all, sorry, door mirrors even, they all look to be color coded. And then round in the back then, the tail lights look to have a nice LED in through there. Again, I suppose the thing about these Octavias was the level of practicality that was in them. I've been watching Octavia's on the roads for years, a million years ago, people used to love kind of, in Ireland, reliable cars, taxi drivers, people with families, they used to love Toyotas. Uh, and then as you look at taxi ranks over the last few years, people that, you know, wanted just a good, reliable car that does what it's meant to do, these Octavia's uh, seem to be absolutely everywhere over the years. And I'm kind of fond of the Skoda brand, I quite like the stuff that they make. So my assumption is the person that's going to buy this car is looking for something that they want to drive for five to 10 years, drive the wheels off it, use it for really, really pragmatic use. And the thing about it is so many people buy SUVs these days, like we sell millions and millions of Tucson, well not millions, sorry, hundreds of Tucsons per year because uh, people want something bigger. But I have to admit, when you look at the boot on something like this, it's a boot size that um, most SUVs, if not all the SUVs we sell, would envy to have. It is way bigger and more practical. If you're going to the airport or you have some serious amount of luggage to bring with you, this trumps any normal size SUV that we sell. And I don't mean here just because we sell Hyundai. I mean Hyundai, Honda, Mercedes, uh, Opel, those brands that we sell. This boot is way bigger than all the SUVs. Uh, the other thing as well is the back. So if you look at the room that's in these, okay, the headroom, about the same as like an SUV, a, you know, Sportage, Tucson, Tiguan, probably maybe might be a little bit higher actually even. Legroom actually is way better, admittedly, in something like this. There's way more space back here. So the only thing I'd say to you, so if you're looking for a family car, so many people go, are gonna buy an SUV, and actually they're forgetting. The boot is way bigger in something like this. The legroom is probably better in something like this. But the only thing that this doesn't give you is the elevated driving. But if you don't care about the elevated driving in an SUV, don't see why you wouldn't buy something like this. And even when it comes to saloon cars these days, anyway, there's very few options left available on the market. Skoda seems to be one of the few manufacturers that are doing that. Storage. Uh, this man was a retired man, played a lot of golf, and I have to say, the boot is in excellent condition. Betcha it has a spare wheel, it does, yeah. Spare wheel as well. The beauty of these was that they were kind of a hatchback saloon sort of setup. Uh, over here, nice little uh, materials used. Uh, along the door there. God, I don't know what you'd call that, but it looks well. Uh, electrics for windows, chai locks over here. Eyes of fix, which is pretty easy to access. Just clip them off. Eyes of fix over there. Three drinks holders, a ski through, so you can pull that down and then you can access the boot. Down through here, rear ventilation, USB connectors. The rear of this car, again, this person, like I was saying to you, retired, played a lot of golf, didn't do a lot of driving. 
So the inside of the car in the back and the boot is in excellent condition. Uh, again, same materials, front and rear electrics, electrics for mirrors, and they're heated and they're folding. So I presume that's maybe because it's a style model. Okay, it looks like there's lumbar support for lower back, height adjustable seat, rake reach steering, so it goes in and out and up and down as well. Now maybe because it's a style model, it also seems to get lumbar support for the lower back and a height adjustable seat for the passenger. Because the poor old passenger often in a lot of cars gets forgotten. Over here, there's a CD player, there's SD cards, uh, if you want to have music and stuff like that there. And then, okay, in through here, I don't get a camera, but I get a park pilot, so for parking sensors on the rear. Okay, in through there, storage, movable armrest, drinks holder. That's actually a drinks opener. I have another video I can send you if you put the bottle down and you turn it, it kind of holds it in place while you're twisting the cap on it. It's pretty cool. Um, gears are six forward, uh, like you're saying, one litre TSI, um, 115 horsepower driver, and passengers have different temperatures. Nice big multimedia screen. I like the resolution on these, uh, the way they work. Um, they look smart. They look kind of smart. So navigation, I presume it'll have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Sure does, and there's something called SmartLink. So that's pretty nice. Uh, all the controls in here, average speed, fuel efficiency. They're kind of easy to use. And you know, they look quite visually nice as well. And then controls over here for volume. Lighting controls for uh, headlights and indicators, wiper controls, headlights are automated from here and then controls for front and rear fog lights. People in car sales videos are obsessed with flat bottom steering wheels for some reason, I don't know why. But okay, to be fair, they do look smart and it gives you probably, I presume the idea is you get a bit more leg room down there. So they are these kind of areas where you would hold your hands in tent too. There's a little kind of area to put your thumbs, which is nice. Uh, driving the car, sorry to harp on about this, right, but it feels like a low mileage car because it is a low mileage car so yeah you'd expect that it drives nice like the steering feels good the gearbox feels good the clutch feels good the brakes feel good it feels like a 32,000 km car um so anyway in terms of visibility is quite nice around it the gearbox is quite nice to use and actually that steering wheel the more i use it, it it's quite a nice feel around it it has this kind of perforated finish on it which is quite nice the cabin is nice very straightforward but you know in a good usable sort of way and you know a straightforward nimble car in terms of doing a three-point turn like this um, like I was saying to you, clutch feels good and the gearbox feels good so when you're swapping you know from forward gear to a rear gear and then back to a forward gear again it's nice and light and straightforward and it's 115 horsepower so I suppose for somebody that's concerned coming out of maybe a bigger 1.6 or whatever engine car uh, I'd be happy enough that there's uh, quite a good bit of power in a car like this one other thing that's pretty interesting on this so is realistic long term this man over the lifetime of the car, he's been averaging 5.9 litres per 100 kilometres. So that's somewhere in the region of about uh, 6 litres. That's going to be about 45 odd miles per gallon. I think any other buys a car like this, I'm going to tell them that they're going to average 35 to 40 miles per gallon. Uh, and then after that, it's a bonus. But that's what he was doing. But he did very low mileage and he probably is a guy that I think that would have drove quite easy. So, um, if you look for an 18 Octavia, yes, it's not the cheapest one on the market. But I think it's probably one of the better ones, if not the best one out there. Um, it is a six-year-old car. It's not absolutely perfect. It's not possible to have that. But what I mean by that is, yeah, there's a couple of blemishes I need to get buffed out and things like that. But overall, uh, in my opinion, it is definitely one of the best, maybe even in the top three of 2018 Octavia, one leader style petrols in the country. And I apologize for sounding like a big sales pitch, but ah, feck it, like you don't get too many real low mileage ones like that. It is a nice one. Uh, if you want information, 086-843-1945, Brian's my name. Sorry, I'm standing here because it's so windy. Call text WhatsApp if you want information about trading in a car or whatever you want to know. Car supplied with 12 months warranty, NCT, pre-sale service. That's it. Thanks for watching.